Hi, welcome to this Power BI video. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. In this video, I will be explaining grouping and binning in Power BI. Grouping and binning is a feature in Power BI that allows us to create a new column to categorize values from an existing column. For example, if you have a column that has ages and you want to categorize them into something like 20 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 40, and so on and so forth, then you can use grouping and binning feature in Power BI. Typically, there are two options you can use for grouping and binning in Power BI. There is a list option and then there is a bin option. Now, when the output of your grouping is expected to be a text, just like this, or like this, then you want to use the list option. However, if the output of your grouping is supposed to be numbers, where you use a single number like this to represent a group of numbers, then you want to use the binning option. So to create grouping in Power BI, first you want to go to the column that is going to be the source of your grouping, like this age column for example. Then I'm going to do a right click on the age column and I'm going to select new group. From this pop-up dialog box, I have an option to first rename what the new column is going to be, but I don't really care about that right now. Then you can see where you have the option to select the group type, whether you want to use bin or you want to use list. Remember, list should be used when you are creating an output that is of text data type and bin should be used when you want to create an output that is of numbers data type. Let's see what the list option looks like first. So if I'm selecting the list option here, then on the left hand side, I'm going to have a list of values that contains all the values in that my source column. These are the ages in that column right now. And for me to group them, I will have to start by selecting the numbers one by one. I can use control key to select multiple items. And I can also use uh, the shift key to select a range of values at the same time. So I'm going to select uh, 30, then I'm going to hold shift and select 35. So I've selected 30 to 35 at the same time. Then I can click on the group button right here. So when I click on group button, I will have on my right hand side groups and members. And then I can basically just double click on this uh, header for each one of them where I can now rename. So for me, I'm going to call this 30 to 35. And then I can select from 36, hold shift all the way to 40. I'm going to group and then I will go to double click on the header for that group again and rename that 36 to 40. So I'll basically do this for each one of them. So now I have basically grouped for nearly all of them. And what I want to do is for these other ones, I would like to group them in a group that I'm going to call above 60. And I have two options for that. Now, because I haven't grouped these guys, if I scroll down on my groups and members, I'm going to see that there is a last option there for all that. So any one of these guys that I have not included in a group is going to fall into the category of other. So I have an option to either select them and group them normally and then do the renaming, or I can just leave them in the ungrouped values. Then I will simply come to the other here double click on it and I'm going to rename this as my above 60. And if you make a mistake from any of the values or let me say from any of the members that you would like to correct, you can easily select that particular member and then you can click on group and then you will see it basically has come to the ungrouped values. If I want to replace it back, uh, since I need this to be a part of 46 to 50, I'll come to select on the header for 46 to 50 here. That means the 47 is selected, 46 to 50 is selected, then I'm going to select group again, and then it's back as a member of that group, right? Now, once I'm done with all of these, I can now click OK, and then you can see my column for age groups. If I click on the drop down, you will see I have all my values, text values, 30 to 35, all the way to above 60. Now, let's look at how to create binning. So I'll go back and select my H column. I'm going to do a right click on the H column and then I'm going to go to new group one more time. 
So for the binning option, this works typically only on a column that contains numbers. And what you want to do for binning is simply to categorize all the numbers into a single number, which is typically used for histograms. And the idea behind that really, it is mostly useful when you have too many distinct number values in a column and you would like to create something like a histogram and you feel like instead of displaying like let's say numbers 1 to 100 for example you can go just group them all into 10 numbers right so for binning we do have two options as to how we set this up we can either use the size of bin as a bin type or we can use the number of bins right and these two are just opposites of one another so let's say for example you have 12 different values in a column right so i want you to do the mental calculation now so if you have 12 different values in a column and you want to have uh, the size of bin as four it simply means you are going to have three groups right because that means you will have four values inside each bin that's the size of bins now if you go with the other option for number of bins the same way we have done that so let's say you have 12 different values and you decide to have two bins that simply means that you'll be having six values inside each bin and that is going to be automatically calculated and derived by power bi itself it mostly uses a lower boundary or something closer to the lower boundary so for my age column right now i've got two options to choose from i'll simply stay on where i am now because if you select size of beans then come here and you will make a change to the size of beans and if you have also selected number of beans then you also come here to select the number of beans that you want so i'll simply leave this on the default and i'm simply going to click on ok and then i have my new column for age beans let me sort the age column in ascending order so we can see what this looks like so you can see that for everyone between the ages of 30 and uh 32 basically have been categorized in the group of 30 and then from 33 all the way to 35 have been grouped together as 33 and so on and so forth so that's it using grouping and binning in power bi you kindly hit the like and subscribe button if you think someone can benefit from this video feel free to share with them